Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play AFK Arena on PC using the brand new BlueStacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install AFK Arena and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play AFK Arena. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all folks, the first thing to do is to open our main internet browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's go to the next URL that I have highlighted in green. Now, you are able to discover on the PC screen. You don't need to type it, because I provided the clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We landed here on our internet site of Usatility, exactly where we have a nice precise overview on how you can download and install AFK Arena on PC. We scroll down a bit and just click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on the link, we land here on the site of BlueStacks. Which the Android emulator that we are going to run to enjoy the game AFK Arena on PC. It is now obvious that we get several pros of preferring using that emulator. Now we will proceed to download the AFK Arena by simply clicking on the button play on BlueStacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on the button. And the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It is an executable file. What we are going to do is to launch the executable file, so we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make changes to the system. We said yes. I minimize the browser to see the installation software much better. The installer is very simple. It consists of two options, install, and setup path. I will describe what setup path actually does. We just simply click on it. And therefore we see that we have here the path where the emulator is going to be set up. If we would you like to vary this folder we are required to click on the browse button, therefore we select another folder and set up the emulator specifically where we desire. I prefer to keep it where it is. Then, I click on back. And I click on install. Now, there it is. The installation starts and it's going to go forward together with the download of all these MB which are presented on the screen. As you save it on your machine, it might possibly be more or less MB. The download rate may go faster or at a lower speed, determined by your connection and according to the speed capacity of the emulator hosting servers. Right now they are running very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator has been launched immediately. As you can see, down here, there is a progress bar which will fill up when it actually reaches the ending, the emulator is going to be launched for the first time. In fact the emulator has already been launched, here for the first time. Before we continue, as you can discover, it has created two icons there on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks Multi Instance. Note that the BlueStacks software icon is going to be the one we are concerned about. When we desire to start AFK Arena on the laptop or computer, we twice mouse click on this specific icon and use the emulator. The BlueStacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved Multi Instance Manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's to the next step, which is actually a must, and which is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. And we will click on Play Store. As you can see the Google Play is launched. Here we must sign in. Now when we are right here, we are required to execute this following step that is definitely obligatory. So we simply click on, Sign In. Now it says, Checking Info. It can in some cases get stuck in, Checking Info, and so it isn't going to proceed. If so, you can try to connect to your account after a few hours it's going to quite likely be resolved. Now we are going to enter our login name and password. The email address really needs to be a Gmail email address as well as its related password. As an example you can use the exact same email address you're using currently in your own YouTube account. Then I will type in my info and I will come back after I have completed it. That's it, data entered. And here is Google welcoming us and providing us their twos. We would agree to them all by hitting, I agree. Next, it offers us to backup to the Google Cloud. You might leave it selected it's going to generate a backup of the data files on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you do what you want. We just click on accept. Google Play is launched by default and immediately. To install the app, we must visit the emulator desktop for Android by clicking on the icon designated green colored. Now that we are on the desktop of the Android emulator, we observe that we come with right here the install app game button. We then click on the button. Here we have the game. Let's quickly then click there on the install link that I am just displaying now in green. And it will start the installation. 
Right now it should download on your laptop or computer and set up the game app, it could take a bit of time or it may be almost immediate. This all is dependent upon on our own connection to the web. This has by then completed setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by clicking on this option that I am showing in green, so that you can run AFK Arena for the very first time. We are already on the emulator desktop, and we are about to simply click the brand new AFK Arena app icon which was created. The game is launched for the first time on your device. Currently there we end up with it, I could press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will comment on the volume of this emulator. It is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume, this way we don't rely on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. And to enjoy the experience to the fullest, we should turn on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This is the first one, we simply click on this app icon which I'm designating in green. And the screen is maximized, having one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. If we desire to enjoy the app in full screen, we select that game icon. And we might already be experiencing the video game in 100% screen setting. To escape the full screen functionality, press the F11 key. And we'd already end up being in normal display setting. Now I am going to show you the keys mapping which is really quite helpful. This way we will probably be capable to operate the game application a lot more effortlessly. The first point is to click on this keyboard icon. It's now time to make the appropriate adjustments. Let me put the normal configuration, though if you want to modify that, you may well do this with no problem. Obviously, the emulator is completely in our language. In some cases it happens that your emulator is started in the incorrect language, for example, in Chinese language. And to set it in the right language we go there to the cogwheel. And here within various other configurations, we just click the language drop down. We should select the language we need, Spanish, Mandarin, etc. When the language is determined, we are going to save, the emulator will reboot, and also the game, the next time we start it, will as well be in the picked language. Now, there is another detail that we need to take into account, and this is that we will get an email telling you that a brand new device has been linked to our own Google account. It will definitely question us if we're the individuals who have associated with that electronic device. Yes, we should not get worried, considering that the emulator is acting as an Google Android tablet or smartphone. And to see which device is currently being emulated, we arrive right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. Let's go here to the, model, option. And here we notice that the emulator is acting as a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for the video tutorial. I believe you appreciated it, specifically that everyone found it interesting. If so, offer it a superb thumb up, subscribe, and if you have feedback, requests or ideas, leave them in the comment box down below. You could also leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams on occasion, you have it listed below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Simply click on any of these videos that are appearing on the list of videos to watch and see you in the upcoming video tutorials. Bye.